everyone, I love my lord. So, today I am doing the Misha Smith 109E final review. And just before I start the video, uh, I did mention on my gaming channel, I'm ending my gaming channel on the 1st of July. Um, also, I, if I do, then this channel will be coming back to what it originally was, which was Spud Face, with only be models, unless I run out of models. And if I run out of models, as I don't have a job, then there will be no content for a couple of months, maybe, or... Hence why I'm slowing down my uploads, because... I currently build and work on one kit, and then I've also got, they're already pre-built, uh, but I've got a lot of videos with the same models in them, with different reviews and like different views on them. For example, like all my models, and like I'll explain the build, and then if I don't want with all World War Two fighters, which I probably will, and bombers, I will give them what they were used for, and all that sort of stuff. Because they're loaded different views on the same aircraft that should last me till around about Christmas and then I'll buy some more but yeah anyway on to the video so in the end I decided to have gear up because it's going in my dog fight kit I'm going to take it off a second this is the engine thing and as you can see it's really really shiny because I dunked it in gloss that's why I little pot. I don't want to my gloss pot. I got tweezers, just literally dunked it in one, two seconds. Took it out, left it to dry that out overnight. Oh, here you go. You got the engine intake, the propeller snapped. I'm trying to guess which one it was. Kind of guess it was this one. Yeah, it was that one. And also you've got the engine. That will probably need touching up again. Like the rest of the thing at the front. But yeah. You've got the little gun. The wheel gun. Oh, should have gone in there actually. But I think I missed them all accidentally. Hey ho. You've got some nice decals. They were actually surprisingly easy to put on. The camo. Again. Easy, pretty easy. Obviously what I done was this light green. I painted the obviously the bottom, the top and all the sides in green. I gave it about three coats of green. And then I think it was the following day I put these camo marks on. Now these are the ones connect on the wing this side wasn't too easy. Sorry about that, I just went to get a pot so I could um, stick the model on it. So you can get like a view of what it would look like in flight. But anyway, go back to the camera. It was a really nice build. This was pretty easy to paint. Looking canopy camo. Now, which is because it's a small kit, I did get fingerprints on it, and I fogged up the glass. So I'm going to save my money up, and if I can find it in the shop, I'm going to get some clear gloss. Uh, clear gloss. Clear fix, or whatever you call it. Um, I have got thinner, which I will probably use. Thinner will come in handy. The, when I come in to get enamel and stuff, either enamel or thinning down acrylics or um, the silver paint in the pots because you stick in that actually can come in handy for like that's just in there. I'm gonna sort that out at the weekend because as you can see. My desk is pretty crowded. I've got a kit over there which will be done probably Saturday. 
Got a box there which is up up there. All that's over there. That's my bin pile over on my left side, not that. That's my tape measure, which comes in handy when you want to know how big a kit is and then you just measure it and see if you've got enough space for it. If not, you have to find someone else to build it. Also, the videos, like I said, are not actually going to be until I finish my damn master's kit, which I still haven't actually started. I'm more of a start my phantom. I was debating whether to start it tonight or Saturday, so I started Saturday. So the first video of that will be uploaded is probably Sunday morning because I'm going to wait for the deco fix. Because obviously, I've got to leave it overnight to dry. So I'm going to do it late. Uh, Saturday morning, like 10 in the morning, and I'm doing the video like 8 because overnight's like what 8 9 hours. But yeah, anyway, like I said, really nice kit, really nice jackals, no fitting issues at all apart from the cockpit because this middle bit did not want to go on very easily. The rest of it went on easily, but you have to put these front two front and back piece and then you have to put the middle one on as you can see the back one came off slightly but yeah I did fuck up the glass which I'm a bit disappointed with you can still get a nice view in so yeah obviously you've got the decals you've got the two engines and do you know what they let me know in the comments if you know what them are. Also, you've got the supports for the wings. These were originally meant to be painted black. I think I'm going to paint over the tyre again. No decals on the tail, which is surprising, actually. I don't think there were on it. This is what I mean by it breaks really easily. I'm going to have to fix that at the end of the video. But I think I'm ending it here anyway.